Finally, finally, apparently, Ruga and Rema are leaving Josie Record and Marvin Record. That's kind of like, you know, disappointed though. But every record label knows, knows that a time will come, their artist contract will expire. And of course, they will have to move on. They will have to move on. It's only a few artists that would like to renew their contract, but they will have to sh bring down the percentage. Ruga already left Josie Record. Ruga changed on follow all Josie Record uh, and on follow the Woody Prince. Not just only that, he changed his record name. So we'll be expecting to hear directly from Ruga next time, not direct, not through his record label. I think he's a free agent now. You know, it's almost the same time Ruga and Rema came out. It was Rema first. I think it was Rema first. After a year, we start seeing Ruga. So Rema came out first, then before Ruga. So very, I, I am sure uh, Ruga's uh, uh, Rema contract is already has already expired. But I believe Roma, Rema might still might still decide to renew his contract with Marvin Record stroke Josie Record. But just that the percentage will be less. Percentage. Maybe if those two records were carried where well, we're we are collecting like uh, let me say we're collecting like 30 to 40 percent of uh, his total earnings of any contract, then I think they might decide to reduce it to 20 percent or to even 15 or 10 percent because Rema need their services he need their services to keep uh, moving on until he's able to stand firmly on his own i don't really advise uh i don't really advise artists to quickly jump off good record label i don't really advise them it's good to continue your relationship but make sure you have the negotiating power if you know they have something to offer and the Marvin record definitely have something to offer you know, but all the same, a time will come, these artists will want to go their separate ways. Like, uh, you know, Don Jazzy himself has, uh, has given freedom to a lot of artists. Tiwa Savage, uh, Ricardo Banks, so many artists Don Jazzy Record has given freedom to. So, and um, yet he's still bringing in more. He had about, he, I think he has about four artists now that he's currently working with. So he has a lot on his plate. He has a lot on his plate. So I wish about the best though. Uh, they are both talented, Rema and Ruga. But Ruga has left. Rema, I'm not sure if he has left uh, the, the record label. I'm not sure about uh, uh, Rema. So far, well, let's talk about the Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg said it was over the sum of 100 million US dollars to have an only fan account only fan account is uh of course you know a social media that allows you to sell your content directly to your fans and only fan want more subscribers to their network and now they are paying they are willing to pay millions to entertainers to join their only fan account they are to open an account with only fan many other entertainers have opened an account before uh Cardi B has an account on only fan Iggy has an account with uh only fan I don't know uh black China used to have an account I don't know if she deleted that account according to uh to Snoop Dogg he said I rejected 100 million naira, 100 million dollars. So sorry, not naira, to show my pumpy machine on Holy Fan, to show his cucumber on Holy Fan. The American rapper Snoop Dogg has revealed that he turned down a hundred million US dollars. That is about 100 billion naira offer to show his pumpy machine on Holy Fan. Holy Fan is an internet content subscription service used primarily for sex workers. He made a relation in an interview on uh, Wake and Bake. The 52 years old rapper said he was contacted by 
by OnlyFans and offer the huge amount just to just pop that thing out. He said, they were, they were like, OnlyFans want you to come on there, Snoop. You could do it for about 100 million US dollars. All you have to do is to pump that thing out. I am like, I have, I have got a black wife. There is no way in the world she is going to allow me to go out there and pump that thing out for no amount of money. <laughs> this guy has a wife, and you want Snoop Dogg to bring that his, his, his pumping machine to start showing to fans of it. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But 100 million US dollars is a big amount. 100 million. Ah, one, 100 billion naira. That is a huge amount. Huge amount. 100 million. 100 billion naira. 100 billion naira. Just to come on, on, on just like this and then bring out your cucumber and show it to the world. Chai. But his wife will never allow him though. Never. Snoop Dogg has, a, has too good reputation to be going around flaunting his thing. He has money already. He has money. Super rich. So that is not even an option at all. So let's talk about uh, medical. Medical, a Ghanaian artist who has uh, Shatawale as an idol. Just imagine having Shatawale as your mentor. Kai, <laughs> who Shatawale is his mentor, recently said the only artist richer than him in Nigeria is Davido. Automatically, he has more money than Whiskey and Evil Bonaboy, Evil Rema, and the rest. What an insult! Kai, what an insult! But what do we expect? What do we expect from such person whose backbone, whose mentor? Is Shatawale. Shatawale learned the hard way. Shatawale used to call out Nigeria. Well, back to back. That year now, call that border boy, call that whiskey, call that uh, David O. But they learned the hard way. Many entertainers, many promoting uh, companies stopped working with Shatawale. His music wasn't being promoted at all. Up to today, it keeps struggling. He struggle as if he's an upcoming artist up to today. Up to today, Beyonce wasn't able to revive his career. Up to today, Shada Wale struggles. And now Shada Wale is an advocate. Shada Wale automatically became an advocate for Nigerian music. He now speaks for, no longer speaks against Nigerian music. Go check. He now speak for and no longer speak against Nigeria entertainment industry. In fact, the other time, Black Sheriff and the rest, the local musician in Ghana were trying to blacklist Nigeria music. You know what he did? He quickly came online to say, nah, you cannot drop Nigeria music. He said he wished he was even from Nigeria. But his boy now, Medica or Medica, is doing the same stuff and is going to learn the hard way. The little fame, the little fame is enjoying is Ghana in Ghana is not enough for him. So he's going to learn the hard way. It's not as if we are able to play this music. We do not even play his music. It's someone that is not even known when it comes to the entertainment industry, but he's still going to learn the hard way because we Nigerians we do not back off. He's still going to learn the hard way. We need to put him in his place. Even with David Doe, that is even crazy and systematically abusing the other. David Doe will not, David Doe will, do, will, will not, do not like that beef. David Doe will not like that beef. He doesn't want to even start that beef. David Doe will not like that smoke. He will not even like the smoke. We already know who is the richest. And who has more money? Hmm? In the entertainment industry, there is no Ghanaian artist. In fact, Ghanaian artists, the entire Ghanaian artist uh, will be competing with Rema. 
one Rema's record calm down. The success of Rema record calm down in USA alone can overthrow the entire Ghana music industry. I'm just saying, you know, when it comes to downloads and and airplay, it can overthrow them. The entire music and the entire music industry, their total views over the years, eh, calculate them together, add them up, and the money made from them from downloads is equivalent to Rema's calm down. It's not a boost. It's statistics. Go and check it. It's equivalent to Rema's calm down. I don't even want to talk about Love One TT by CK or Essence by David O. Or you know Rema, you know uh, David O, the, the, the uh, Essence by Whiskey. David O won't come. Or should, should we talk about Wonder Boy Last Last and so many other songs? Man, you guys are really disrespectful, man. Disrespectful, that guy.